Truptish asks, will there be separate laws for the equality and justice for AIs when they develop emotions? And Shubham asks, do you think that in the future AI will be given human rights? So AI is artificial intelligence. It's a non-human intelligence. And will it ever develop emotions? Will it ever develop consciousness? We do not know. But it's a non-human intelligence. It's not a natural intelligence. It's an artificial intelligence. It is So therefore, it cannot be classified as human beings. And therefore, it cannot be given human rights. Right now, we are at the situation where we have sentient beings on this planet, animals who have consciousness and who have emotions, who are deprived of their life, of their rights. We have millions or billions of cattle and other animals, intelligent, conscious animals with emotions who are enslaved, who are raised for their meat and who are slaughtered mercilessly. And we don't give them any rights. Correct. They are essentially slaves. They live a short period of time and then they are slaughtered. Even when it comes to primates, the big apes, the great apes, chimpanzees and gorillas and gibbons and uh, orangutans and bonobos, these animals are our evolutionary cousins. They have near human levels of intelligence compared to other animals. Even dolphins are extremely intelligent. Even, even elephants are very intelligent. Do we give them any rights? We don't give them any rights at all. We, it's okay to shoot or kill such an animal and there's no punishment. So we are not even giving these animals such rights. So why would, so it is difficult to envisage a future in which AIs would be given rights. And we don't know if they will ever develop emotions as we understand emotion. We don't know if they will develop consciousness as we understand consciousness. So as of now, I would say that in the future, it is unlikely that you would have special laws to give them justice and equality. And I think it's unlikely that they would be given human rights in the future. 